Okay then. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to a new episode of Locked and Loaded. I'm your host, Tony the Shooter, the video walker, photographer, editor, director, entertainer. And this is where we react, review, and break down videos from people you may know and some you don't. So you know what to do. If you don't, get your snacks, do what you do to relax, kick back, and tune in. Okay then. Hey, what's up, y'all? I'm Tony, and I'm here with... Yeah, what shoot at? Man, y'all always late, man. Oh. Ah. What's up, Tony? Hey, don't think you ain't showing up late, man. We got a show to do, man. I had to put my fit on, bro. What is wrong man, with you? I ain't trying to put my that, fit on, bro. Can I put it on? 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 Can we get the business? Can we get the business? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm always ready. Bro, stop. Come on, we go in. You know who it is? Shoot him, baby. Damn. Stop all that damn whining, too. All that damn whining, man. You just hate because I got it on. All right, y'all, for this episode, I got my brother, my round, King Bro in the building once again with me today. Yeah, and today, we're going to be reviewing and breaking down the video Ryu versus Jin, Street Fighter versus Tekken Edition, man. You know what I'm saying? Death Death. Death Battle, we have it. Hey, boy, they got him, boy. Death Battle got him, bro. So, yeah. We finna tone in and see what's going Jean, on. Though. Huh? I'm going with Jen. You going with Jen? I'm with Jen like that, though. Damn. Yeah. Right, you That's like that, too, though. Let's go. Right, you know. Y'all know. But right now, it's time for a Death Battle! Okay, then. I like the animation. Answer lies in the heart of battle. I'm gonna fight. 
walk the path of a true warrior. Hey. Oh, but he ain't slaughtering him, though. I thought he was going to slaughter him, bro. There's nothing left in his chest. But the holes in his chest, this one was a tricky match. Well, that's the arc of that blood. Well, Ryu okay, and Jin okay. had many displays of incredible feats, but very few truly but, showcased the upper limits of their power. Why they we go know that the in the their base forms, both could lift around 30 tons and move at supersonic speeds. Also, we know Ryu could maintain a much better level of control and discipline in Muno Ken than Jin in Devil Form. Okay. Yeah, hardcore Tekken fans know he had pretty good control over it in that Blood Vengeance movie, but it's pretty inconsistent with game canon. Even Tekken's creator has said it's not canon. Also, Jin's fall from orbit feet was impressive, but it is hard to quantify due to its presentation. Even if we assume we are to take it literally, a man of Jin's size landing at terminal velocity would equal around 18 tons of force. But to find their limits, we had to scale them to comparable characters. Scaling Jin to his father Kazuya was logical. Kazuya survived that 3.7 megaton laser blast, and it's clear it was necessary for him to be in devil form to do so. Kazuya's own laser blast was strong enough to help kick off a volcano's eruption a feat which could require up to 100 megatons of TNT. But that's a very generous estimate, and its actual potency is likely much less. Since their power comes from the same place, and Jin's even defeated Kazuya before, it's safe to say Jin can do all this too. As for Ryu, we knew exactly who we had to scale him to. Let's talk about Akuma. First off, just to prove this scaling is reasonable, Ryu and Akuma share very similar abilities. Both were trained in the Atsutsuken fighting style, and both possessed the Satsui no Hata. They fought each other several times, and when the story was all said and done, Ryu emerged, ultimately victorious, based on his skill alone. Now that that's out of the way, let's watch Akuma punch an island to death! With a single strike, Akuma managed to break apart an entire island so thoroughly that Ryu, who was on the island, was left floating helplessly in nearly clear water. Right. Assuming the island is somewhat circular, we've estimated the volume and deduced that in order to fragment the island like this, Akuma's punch must have been over 400 megatons of TNT. That's more than four times stronger than anything a Devil Gene has pulled off. And Ryu takes blows from this guy all the time! Sure, Ryu wasn't getting hit with 400 megatons every time Akuma landed a punch, but the most a Devil Gene carrier has ever survived amounts to less than 1% in comparison. Even if Jin could survive a strike as strong as Kazuya's volcano feet, it still pales in comparison. The fact that Ryu survived being on the island as it was blown apart helps justify this scaling too. Well, Jin still takes the speed advantage with that flight into orbit, but it doesn't mean much when the difference of power and toughness is this massive. When it came down to it, Ryu's strength, durability, and control were just too far out of Jin's reach. Wait, Wiz, we forgot a feat! You remember that gun jack robot? A later model of Jack once destroyed a meteor. Couldn't we just scale Jin to that? Well, it's unsupported by canon material, but even if we did, guess who destroyed an even bigger meteor? Akuma. Akuma. Damn. Well, get up, everybody. Ryu's taking care of business. The winner is Ryu. Oh. Okay, he did it. Ryu's taking care of business. Damn, that man stood on business, man. He did, though. Damn, we ain't putting no money up. <clears throat> he stood on business, man. Until next time, y'all. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know who y'all think should have won, man. Y'all think Rio should have won that? You think, how y'all feel, man? Comment box, let us know. RPG. Yeah. Damn.